My name is Anyar Kamangar. I am a founding partner of Griffon Capital and the managing partner of Sav Ventures. Um, in both sort of capacities, in one capacity I'm an investor, and in the other capacity I'm an advisor in, with startups in terms of raising capital and doing M&A. And I've done a, quite a few big IPOs as well. Uh, by the time comes where the firms are doing IPOs, I can be helpful there as well. So this is my first time in Startup Istanbul. Um, so far I'm very impressed. Um, it's a great bridge in terms of bringing um, startups from the east and the west and putting them all together under one platform. I'm impressed that there are between 90 and 100 sort of, um, some of them very impressive, some of them early stage um, startups under one roof and the guys have done a fantastic uh, job in terms of organizing it, very well organized. Mm -hmm. So yeah, well done to Borak, Elif and uh, the other uh, team members. So as an investor, I've focused on e-commerce all my life. Um, most of the investments that I've made have either been in basic and infrastructure e-commerce um, solutions and platforms. The ones that have been a billion dollar businesses everywhere else in the world. Uh, you look at those concepts and you realize if there is a gap within certain markets that you're looking at, and if there is a gap and that sort of solution can work there, then we are people that invest in champions which we think are going to be those local champions. Um, what are the criteria that I look for? Um, team, team, product market fit, really. Um, two that have relatively good synergies with portfolio companies that I've invested in so far already. Um, and most of them were in fields that they're really solving a pain that is out there. And the pains that I see out there are logistics, last mile delivery, and just getting the message to the end user. So yes, two companies have been interesting to me, and I will be exploring them um, a little bit further. Depends where they are, right? Um, you've got different tech hubs in the world, and um, in terms of startups, finding investors and funding, I would say it's very important that you focus on where you are and try to be, at least if you're reaching out to investors locally, you should be um, solving a local pain as well. And you should have a very localized, let's say, um, solution initially. Once you've done that, once you've proven that you can conquer one market relatively well, then yes, I would definitely say branch out. And to branch out, then I would highly suggest that investor, sort of the companies move to bigger tech hubs in the world. There are a couple, right? San Francisco, London, Beijing, uh, maybe Dubai, um, Istanbul, I'm hoping, uh, which were, are the tech hubs, and try to sort of, let's say, expand out of there and branch out of there. But it's very important to grow the roots initially and where you are, and then branch out. So in terms of where I see global, uh, sort of, let's say, Startup Istanbul globally, and where does it fit, I have to say, the Startup Istanbul, as I said, it's very well organized, it's a great idea, but it's a very niche idea. So here we're looking at 100 startups globally coming to Istanbul, pitching, and it's more a startup competition versus a full-on event where it has a startup competition on the side as well, but there are different sort of aspects of that event. And why is that important in terms of having a diversified event is because you can then get a mix of attendees, which are startups, investors, and corporates, which are looking for um, new trends and whatever happening is happening in the startup world. And you will look for sort of see service providers that are looking to provide their services to those startups as well, whether it's advisors, marketing uh, sort of agencies, or just pure other tech companies looking to be in the, uh, in the ecosystem. In terms of the competition, I think the guys have done a fantastic job. Um, the diversity of startups, whether it's the solutions that they have, the verticals they're in, um, even the geography, but even the timing as well. I mean, very, very early stage MVP to companies that have raised their seed in early stage round. So in that sense, they've done a fantastic job. And just getting them here, I'm pretty sure, is not a very easy thing to do. So well done to the team. Um, but in the sense that... Um, is it a diversified event to be attracting uh, the, the people that I said about, sort of I spoke about? I'm not sure. I think it needs a little bit of uh, work in terms of diversifying it for different interests as well. So as an investor, for example, 
which does later stage investments, I would have liked to see a little bit more mature companies coming here as well. It's great to be in the trends, by the way, don't get me wrong. It's great to see what sort of trends are developing in different parts of the world. But I would have liked to have more investors next to me sort of exchange ideas. At the end of the day, these sort of events are about exchanging ideas from east to west and just connecting them in, in one position, right? So I think with that, there is, there's a little bit of work to be done. So I just wanted to say well done to the team. The guys have done a fantastic job bringing you know, startups, investors, just the audience from different parts of the world under one roof. Istanbul is a great city. I always love it here. Uh, I've been coming to Istanbul for a very long time. I did the um, IPO of Turk Telecom. That was my first project here. Then I did the financing of uh, the Ozier Telecom thing that exploded, uh, that has now <laughs> gone bankrupt. Yeah, I did a couple of projects with Turkcell, uh, Fintur, Telias, and Era. So I've been very close to uh, Turkey for a very long time. And I actually have investors in my fund from Turkey. So from time to time, I come here and I really enjoy it. So I highly recommend uh, coming to Startup Istanbul uh, next year. I look forward to being here next year as well. Thank you.